Eddie, thanks for sending in your video to Cody Golf Instruction Online. I have a few suggestions. First, with posture. When you stand to the golf ball, I want you to make sure that you're aiming not straight, but I want you to aim a little to the right. We're going to play for more of a draw now. So aim yourself a little to the right. Your ball's position should be about two to three inches inside your left heel. Don't get it too far forward. You'll end up pulling it left. Out. You'll only end up pulling it left. So two to three inches inside your heel. Take your normal grip. I want you to check your grip out and make sure on your left hand you can see all of your two knuckles, maybe even a third. It looks like you're a little weak on your left hand, so get it two to three knuckles on your left hand. Now, that's the setup. More importantly, your backswing looks great. It looks great. What you're lacking is proper path coming down. You need to start coming more from the inside and letting that face close upon impact. Okay, so the drill I want you to do is called the closed hip and shoulder drill. It's designed to be done at like 50% speed. Don't go any faster. And it's designed to make the ball draw. So listen closely and we'll get this done, okay? I take a shaft, put it on the ground so it's on an inside out angle. I want you to set it to the T so that it's in a proper ball position spot. Again, a couple inches inside your heel. And I want you to set up your right behind your left. See how I'm standing? Here's another angle. This is what it looks like with the ball in front of me. My right is behind my left. Ball is just inside the left foot. This is the closed hip and shoulder drill. Set up. Now the key is to make sure you trace the club back inside and then come from the inside, letting that face close as you come through. So do that a few times. Back and through from the inside, just letting that face close. Now you know you've closed the face when you finish your swing with your arms crossed. Just like this. See how my arms are crossed? You can also tell by the club face. When you finish your swing, the club won't be straight up and down. It'll be closed down. This is closed. So that's how you want to finish your swing. Let the club come from the inside. Finish with crossed arms and a closed face. Now, you're going to hit shots 50% speed. They'll probably go 150 yards, but it's very important. Here's the key. You want to get the ball to take off and then draw a good 20 yards. Don't let it go straight, no fades. You want it to hook 20 yards. Don't get shocked if you see it overhook. That's what we want. Let's set up properly. What I like to do is make a few practice swings above the ball, letting that face close coming down, coming from the inside. If you have to go slow, go slow. Finish with those crossed arms. Then put a ball down and attempt the same procedure, letting that face close coming through. Finishing with crossed arms. That's your focus. Again, you should get some draws. As you get some draws, simply then spread your feet. Aim to the right, get your ball position. Make a few practice swings, just letting that face close from the inside, and then let it go. Make sure you finish with the crossed arms. Make sure you feel that path. Ed, this is your driver lesson. Please let me know how it goes. Again, 50% speed, get some hooks, follow the drill to the letter, and it will get better. Next, we'll do the pitching.